And now, GNOME development news from the last week. Fight! Do do do. <laughs> and so, Jamie ported all the UI files and settings to Blueprint. And. Oh my gosh, there were so many! <laughs> Obviously, that also means that Blueprint is now part of the official GNOME 49 SDK. And get this, Settings wasn't the only app ported to Blueprint. Calendar and Papers dropped their XMLs too. Oh, and by the way, that's a week old draft of the display panel redesign. And speaking of redesigns, Alan removed fingerprints from passwordless logins, so no worries anymore. No one will kill you, cut off your finger, unlock your PC, and steal your bitcoins. Unless they do it just for a hobby. This week, Sophie made the alpha release of Glycin version 2, which is more like Glycin version 3. Huh? The big news, though, is that this version features pooled loaders and editors. So, pooled loaders will totally reuse existing loader processes without having to go through the costly process of spawning a new loader. Using pooled loaders will drastically increase the speed for loading a lot of small images, like, for example, thumbnails. Loader and editor pools are now used by default, and loader processes are spawned on demand, but the pools are not shared between processes or apps, though. And this change has already been integrated into GNOME Image Viewer, so it will possibly get much faster image proxies. But we are not done yet. Because Glycin loaders are now implemented in GDK PixBuff to replace the legacy decoders. Although this feature isn't enabled by default, and it should be enabled in Compile, together with the Glycin Thumbnailer, which, by the way, is the default image thumbnailer on my GNOME already. So, in GNOME 49 Upstream, the X session won't build by default anymore, though that might not be the case for distros that might want to keep offering it, for whoever and for whatever reason needs it. In any case, the plan is to only have a disabled X in GNOME 49, you know, like for testing and safety reasons, and a complete removal of all Xcode in GNOME 50. That's just next March! Whoa! Hail Wayland! <laughs>